rats. And what happens? Mm -hmm. Well, I'm not letting her push me down. She will not push me down. I'm going to stand here. I am not moving. I will not fall. Mm -hmm. And the whole time you missing everything that God is Jesus. giving you yeah. and doing for you because of your stubbornness. Yeah, amen. Mm -hmm. And we are so stubborn. Mm -hmm. And it's like, I don't believe that anyway. Mm -hmm. I don't believe nobody can lay hands on you and you fall on the floor. You don't have to fall on the floor because somebody lay hands on you. The Holy Spirit be up there and they go like this and you go boom. Yes, <laughs> and they didn't even have to touch you. Yes, right. That's right. Warning, amen. Because we have to understand, just like you said, it's the anointing. Yeah. What is the difference? What makes a person anointed? Yeah. See, but it's a time where we need to be anointed. But in order to get to that point, you have to be willing to let God have his way. That's right. You have to be open to the Holy Spirit. Mm -hmm. But if, and the Holy Spirit is not something that's spooky. It's not something that's scary. And, and it's like that's how some people portray it to be. Mm -hmm. yeah. But it's not, it, it's not about being spooked out or scared out. It, 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 it's nothing like that. Because what you have to look at is the enemy walks around and have you doing stuff all the time. Mm -hmm. But do you turn around and wonder, oh, I'm not going to let him do that. Mm -hmm. I'm not going to let him do that. But we will fight the Holy Spirit, but we don't want to fight the enemy. Now, now that's a word. Now something is well, it, it's well. a problem. Well, well. It's a problem. Amen. We will fight when we'll fight the Holy Spirit because people say it's time for us to go in the church. It's time for us to pray. And we'll say, oh no, that, that, that's too much prayer. It doesn't take that long. We shouldn't be having no all night prayer. It don't take all night to do anything. But as soon as they say, okay, we're going to have a party. But we're going to have a pajama party. And you can come to church. And we're going to have food. And we're going to play games. And somebody can preach for 15 minutes. But the rest of the time we party, everybody want to come. It's like, oh, that sounds real good. It sounds real good. So we can have all night prayer, but we can't have. Uh, all night, but we can have all night prayer, but we can have an all night pajama party. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so because <laughs> because we put it, we'll say, oh, well, we're having this party in the name of Jesus. Wow. But Jesus can only wow. come out for 15 minutes. Come on, Providence. Come on. You talk 15 minutes. Come on. We're going to give him Woo! make his case. Use the Lord. Use the Lord. Use the Lord. Yes. Speak for him. Use the Lord. Hallelujah. Lord. Let her tell the truth. Hey, thank you, Jesus. See, and remember, we're not talking about the unsaved. We're talking about the saved. And we have to stay focused because I want everybody to remember we're talking about saved folks. We're talking about the Christians. Yes, yes, yes. We're talking about the ones that love Jesus. That's right. Yes, Lord. Oh my God, He is about to do work. He is about to do work. That's why speak to the Lord. He is about to do work. Hallelujah. Speak to it. Hallelujah. So now, since we are, that we we know about all the stuff that we're not doing. Now the Lord said, "Okay, we gonna clean this up." Mm. I'm giving everybody a clean slate. Mm. See, because he gives us new grace and new mercy yes. every morning. Yes. Okay? Sometimes, sometimes I remember I used to be like, well, why do we need new grace and new mm. mercy every morning? <laughs> <laughs> but what I realized is we mess up. Yes. So bad yes. every yes. day. Yes. Yes. And he already knew that we was going to mess up in a way mm. that we had to have new grace. Yes. And new mercy yes. Yes, yes, yes. every morning. Yes. Every morning. So when we go back to our churches and we get caught up in the stuff, mm -hmm. we say, Lord, please forgive me. Mm -hmm. yeah. Help me, God, yes. to change yes. my ways. Mm -hmm. my ways. Yeah. See, because mm -hmm. what we can't do, we can't blame it on the church. No, we Because <laughs> yes, what it is, this relationship, mm -hmm. this walk with Christ is so personal. Mm -hmm. yes, it is. 
And just because everybody else is doing it, mm. do not mean that you have to Whoa, do it. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Just because the pastor said, this is what we're going to do today. <laughs> and you know that within your spirit, God said, no, you can't do that. Mm. I, I really believe that as the Lord, as you grow and you go to your pastor, you can say, well, pastor, the Lord is letting me know this is something I can't do. See, and the Lord is, and because the Lord is bringing pastors up to a different standard, they will be able to be open Amen. and understand Amen. that everybody cannot do everything. Amen. And because sometimes it's some things that God gave just for you that you Amen. can't do. Amen. Even though another sister, another elder can sit there and they may can do the same thing. Amen. But you know that God said, no, you can't do it. Amen. And you have to be willing, you have to be able to stand because you know that that's something that God told you you couldn't do. Mm -hmm. And even though people may know, but you think you better. Mm -hmm. It's not that you think you better mm -hmm. because the souls, the same Holy Spirit mm -hmm. is within them, but he just didn't start working on them in that area. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you may can't do certain things because of the ministry where God has Jesus. you going. Mm -hmm. Because of certain people, the way certain people gonna look at you, you can't do the same thing that Sister Sue is doing. Mm -hmm. You can't do the same thing because it's certain people that's watching you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, it's like you're teaching and it's certain people, it's like it's okay for one teacher to do that, but they would look at me like, no, not you. I expect that from other people. I, I used to have a um, a co-worker used to call me um, a super Christian. I'm like, a super Christian? What is a super Christian? She said, well, some people, what they do, they come in, they go to church on Sunday, and they know the scripture, they praise the Lord, but when you see them on Monday and Tuesday, you don't believe that it's the same person that's in me on Sunday. <laughs> and I was like, oh. Because I didn't quite understand because she used to say things. She goes, well, you are super, super Christian. Mm -hmm. And for a moment, I would get offended. Mm -hmm. But now I understand. Mm -hmm. It's something special mm -hmm. that people see yes. in what they would call a oh, super hallelujah. Christian. Mm -hmm. hallelujah. And what it is, we are supposed to be super Christians. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No one should have to be, we shouldn't be on the job and people wondering, is she really saved? Mm -hmm. Or you're on your job for 15 years mm -hmm. and then someone comes out to your church and says, oh my goodness, I didn't know she was a preacher. <laughs> Why are you on your job for 15 years and nobody knew that you knew the word of God? Come on now. It is something wrong. So as Christians, we have a whole lot of changing and a whole lot of turning to do. But now since we already know all of this, now we have to go. When, when the Lord gives us something, we can't make excuses. Because we, we can't make excuses for why we can't do it. He, we, Because we use the excuse, we say, but if I do that. So, if needs to get out of our vocabulary, our vocabulary. Mm -hmm. but we need to take it out. Mm -hmm. And if the Holy Spirit tells us to do something, we need to do it. Right. We need to be sensitive and we need to be willing and we need to be open that we would understand and we would hear from the Word. Of, we would hear from God. Mm -hmm. um, as Christians, we need to learn to face our fears. Mm -hmm. We need to learn to stand firm in what God has given us. And we know that God said he would never forsake us. And he would not leave us. So because he's not leaving us, he's not forsaking us, we need to stand firm on what we believe in and forget about our fears. See, because there's a whole lot of things that keep us from doing what we're doing because we're fearful. I can't preach or I can't teach because I don't do it like Evangelist Lane. I can't pray and I can't sing because I can't do it like Sister Joyce. I can't do this because you're comparing. But God said we are unique. Yes, yes. We are unique. So if you're unique, you're not going to be like everybody else. Amen. You don't have 
have to do it just like everybody else. Amen. You don't have to sing. You don't have to yes, preach. Yes, you don't yes. have to pray Amen. like everybody else. Amen. Because he already put in you what you need to do yes. and with what he has. Mm -hmm. And at this time, it's a time. Um, <coughs> oh, I'm getting ready to jump, jump over myself. Um, oh, help me, Holy Ghost. Yes. At